you guys, it's Hannah. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another vlog. This vlog is going to be of a week in my life and it is a week which is gearing up to be very busy and very productive because I am going places for the two-ish weeks after this week. So this is essentially my last week here to grind out as much work as I possibly can so that when I'm at the places that I'm going, I can fully kind of just be like on vacation. I've got videos to film, videos to edit, podcasts to pre-record, podcasts to edit, bus, club, another club, uploading all those things, setting everything up, making sure that basically everything is good to go. All my ducks are in a row. I also am going to start packing this week for a trip I'm going on. I'm gonna get more into all of the details of that in a little bit in this vlog. I'll tell you everything, well, mostly everything. Next week, I will be away with my family and then the following week is when I'm doing this. So I just wanna have stuff prepared because I'm literally gonna be back to the city for 24 hours in between where I'm going with my family and when I fly out to this place. So I wanna have things laid out and ready to go. I am manifesting that at the end of this, I will feel so productive and so good and proud of myself of everything that I've gotten done and I will be ready to go for my adventures. First thing that I wanna do in this vlog is actually do a haul for you guys because I got some new clothes. Mm -hmm. I've been on the hunt for good, cute, cool pieces to wear, like going out, going to the bars, going anywhere, like dinners, wherever, with friends, events. Another club, plane. Next place. I just feel like I don't have good stuff for that. I'm very much lacking in that department. I have like two tops maybe on rotation, but other than that, I don't know. I kind of wanted to spice things up. I've been wanting to do this for a while. And so I have a massive haul. I mean massive. I have over 15 things to show you, I think. I don't even know the exact number. And everything that I'm about to show you is from White Fox Boutique, who is so kindly sponsoring today's video. So thank you so much to White Fox for sponsoring this video. Before we get into the haul, I do have a couple more things I wanna tell you. First, White Fox Boutique also has White Fox Swim and White Fox Active. I actually got a bathing suit from White Fox Swim and I'm obsessed. Even though it is literally September, I buy bathing suits all year round, so whatever. They also offer express worldwide shipping and they offer afterpay to all US, Australia, and New Zealand customers. Now, with that being said, let's get into my massive Hall. End of summer, transitioning to fall. I'm gonna try to go rapid fire because we could genuinely be here all day. First few things in the hall are actually what I'm wearing right now. This top is one of the softest, nicest quality short sleeve tee tops I have ever put on. I am obsessed with this color also. This is like literally the color of my laptop case. I love this color. This is the Too Blessed Tee in Steel. And then on the bottom, these joggers are also from White Fox. I also got their matching hoodie, which I will show you in a second. Of course I did. These are the Sports Academy sweatpants in sand and they have the little embroidery here on the side. Before I show you the hoodie, there has to be a moment for this t-shirt. just has to. I have literally worn this shirt for the past two days straight. Sorry. This is the Leisure Series Oversized Tee in Glacier Gray. It's unbelievable. It's my new favorite t-shirt easily. I texted my mom when I tried this on for the first time and was like, I think I just found the perfect t-shirt. I love like a boxy fitted t-shirt and that is exactly what this is. Like it just fits and lays so nicely. It has this like puff print. It's so comfortable. It's so cute. I'm obsessed. I cannot have enough oversized, comfy, cute t-shirts. Moving right along to the aforementioned matching hoodie to these sweatpants. Here she is. Here's the full sweat set. Also, let's have a moment for the back. So cute. I love a matching set so much. I put this on three seconds ago and I'm already sweating. It is so thick and soft and warm. This is the Sports Academy oversized hoodie in sand. I'm happy to report that I finally got some good, cute pieces for going out on the town. I've lived here for two years now and every time I've gone out with my friends, you can ask any of them. It has been a struggle for me to find something to wear because I had like maybe two tops that I liked to wear to bars or late dinners, like literally two tops in the rotation. And now I've got a whole arsenal of cute pieces courtesy of White Fox. Keep like messing with my hair because I'm sweating. Okay, hair's going up, I have to do it. This top I think is so sick. 
I love, 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 love the buckles on the straps. I just think that it adds something cool and fun. These pants, a wide leg, flowy pant, my favorite kind of pant. This top is the Gravity Bustier in black. And then these pants are the Pump It Louder pants in charcoal. Hair is back down because I feel like hair up was not giving the vibes that I wanted to give for this. This top, <laughs> I mean, come on. First and foremost, it holds the girlies in, okay? They're not going anywhere. This is adjustable on both sides with both zippers. I can pull this all the way down. Are you joking? And it's also just sick. And then these pants, <sighs> these pants, yeah. Easily one of my new favorite pairs of pants. I don't have any pants like this. They're so cool. This is the Lonely Thoughts top in black and these are the run right back pants in charcoal. I'm giving Kim Possible almost, but in a really cool way, but Kim Possible is cool, so. It is the way my hair is gonna change 700 times during this haul, and also the way that I have so much trust in this top. This is the first take strapless corset in beige, and then I have these really sick jeans. Again, I don't have anything like these. I feel like these are so perfect for an add-on on the town. I'm tired of wearing the same thing and just kind of feeling Blah. This is exactly what I need. Are you kidding me? These are the Always Wonder jeans in mid blue wash. This fits like a glove, first of all. It's a bodysuit. I feel so secure, but also so cool. The sleeves are like kind of mesh ish. This is the Please Forgive Me long sleeve bodysuit in black. I know what you're thinking. Finally, not a summer top. I just love a shirt that I don't have to wear a bra with. Having a bigger chest makes it difficult for sure, but this. I am all secure. What do you know it? Another really good black top. Something about this one is really doing it for me. I think it's the sleeves. They kind of flare out at the bottom, which gives it a little bit of something fun. Gives it a little pizzazz. Obviously I'm not gonna walk around like this, but you know what I mean. It feels kind of like a mixture between a sweater material and a top. Oh, also, yeah, hair is back up. Sorry, I'm sweating. This is coming to the place I'm traveling with me. For sure. I've already put outfits together with it, so. This is the Home With You long sleeve top in black. Next, I got this adorable little floral printed top. I just thought this was so adorable. I'm obsessed with this cute little dainty floral print lately. This is the Weekend Vibes Baby Tee in blue. I just feel like it's so cute. Going along with the theme of just darling little tops, I got this little pink cami. I love this because it has lace. I just think it's so cute and dainty. It is still 95 degrees here, so. This is valid. This is the Deliver the Heat top in pink. And I also got it in gray. I couldn't be more obsessed with this if I tried. Has the same little lace lining detail. I have been wearing this around the house like crazy since I got it in the mail like two days ago. This is such a good staple basic tank. But wait, cause then <sighs> got this little bolero top too. I've seen that these are what all the cool girls are wearing. So I, decided to get one too and I'm obsessed. Are you joking? Why is this so cool to me? It just adds a little something. This outfit for me with a pair of like platform black sneakers. Okay, this is called the Keep On Walking Knit Bolero in black. We've got two more things and they're both dresses. This dress I thought would be perfect for the fall and winter since it is literally a long sleeve. It's also very thick denim material. I have a vision of some knee high boots and like a matching colored purse. This is the Sweet Moments long sleeve denim dress in indigo wash. And then I saved potentially the most darling of them all for last. <laughs> it's the little bows for me. The little pink lining, the little pink bows. It just could not be any more darling. This is the Out of Love mini dress in black. Major bonus points here because the girlies are secure. I feel like I'm used to wearing things that are like literally turtlenecks. So if I'm gonna wear something pretty much any lower than that, I need the girlies to be secure and they're secure. They're going nowhere. The bows are too cute. They're too cute. That my friends concludes my white fox haul. I will link every single thing that I just showed you down in the description and you can use my code, which I'm gonna put on the screen here for 15% off site-wide from White Fox Boutique. Thank you so much again to White Fox Boutique for sponsoring this video and for sending over all of these amazing pieces. I feel so cool. I feel like very much ready to slay the fall and all the other seasons as well. Thank you, White Fox. Fans are back on. For some reason, I just changed back into my original t-shirt even though I am about to go shower. It is 6.30 now. I am just now finishing all of the tasks that I needed to do today. Started at like around nine. 
So I need a shower and then I got ingredients for dinner and I wanna make dinner before Clemson comes on at 8 p.m. So I have an hour and a half to shower and prepare dinner. Can it be done? I don't know because I am actually the world's slowest chef the world's slowest ever. I thought I was gonna be done with everything I needed to do earlier than this. Oh, there's also my laundry hanging in the back. Oh, speaking of that, I need to do my second dryer cycle for my colors clothes. And then I have my lights in the wash and I need to separate those, hang the delicates, and then put those in the dryer when the other ones are done in the dryer. And then I have one more thing to put in the wash and then the dryer. And then I have my towels out here that I need to fold, which I'll probably do during the game. Also y'all, I got a new microphone. I don't know if you can tell. I hope you can. Wow, it's a mess, but I'm really excited about it. I took like a solid amount of time to try and figure out the settings I wanted. And if you hear like anything in the background, it's definitely my fan. I had to turn it back on. It is hot. I am so stoked about this. I have been wanting a really good quality mic for a while. This is my first video with it. We're fully testing it out. I'm excited though. All right, I'm gonna go shower and then start dinner and try and cook as quickly as possible and quicker than I've ever cooked in my entire life. <laughs> so I don't have to make my colander messy. I don't really feel like it. <laughs> I don't feel like washing it. This is some real embarrassing shit and I need to deal with it. And I will deal with it. I just cannot believe this is happening right now. Good morning. It's actually Wednesday. I did not vlog yesterday. I didn't do anything, honestly, of interest. I sat and edited all day. And then after I was done with that, I cleaned my apartment, which I, well, I didn't really clean my, I cleaned some things and I put away a lot of clothes that needed to be put away. I'm just trying to like make excuses for why I'm being a bad vlogger, but it's now Wednesday and I'm actually leaving the house today. So of course, here we are. You're coming with I have a deadline today, so I need to get a video submitted. So I am gonna go to a coffee shop and edit. Edit, 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 edit. I don't wanna sit in my house anymore. Even though it is literally gonna be 100 degrees today, which is typically not my ideal time to like go outside, but oh my God, I have to. I packed my coffee shop bag last night because I knew that doing that would make it easier to get up. I am still having a late start, which is, well, later than I wanted to, which is not ideal. Whatever, I just need to get going. Good thing is my hair is finally a little bit long enough to like put in a cute little ponytail. Yay! Put some music on to drown out how hot I'm about to be. I just want fall so bad. Also, it's like scaring me that it's already Wednesday. This week is flying and I need it to stop flying because I have so much that I need to do. Let's go to the coffee shop and get some work done. I will admit to the people that I have been a terrible vlogger. 
I will admit it, okay? It is Friday right now, which first of all, this week has absolutely sprinted by. I don't know how it's already Friday. It's making me a little nauseous. I have so much to do still, um, but let me, since I didn't vlog yesterday, Thursday, let me catch you up with what I did yesterday. That's it. Right now I am going to record two podcasts, pre-record them. I wanna go through and start packing. I have two different things that I have to pack for. Okay, I haven't told you all about what I'm doing, so that's on me. Oh my God, I'm so excited. It's hard for me to even focus on anything because I'm so excited. I'm going on two trips. I'm going to the beach next week with my family, we went last year. It was me, my grandma, my mom, and one of my aunts, and we're doing that same group this year, going to the same beach. So I'm going home this weekend. Today is Friday, my parents are coming tomorrow, which is why I have to get so much done today and like tomorrow morning before they get here. That is one thing that I have to pack for. I don't have to pack much for that because it's gonna be very chill, very low key. Just like a unwind, unplug few days. And then I don't really pack much when I go home anyway because I have like clothes there and whatnot. So that is one thing that I have to pack for. But the set, Charlie, I can't even fault her. She, when you gotta go, you gotta go. Mama is trying to tell people her exciting plans. Yes, queen. Go girl! There you are. Oh, dear. Anyway, the second thing that I need to pack for is, oh my God. <laughs> I am going to London. And this is my first ever solo international trip. Oh my God. I'll have 24 hours in the city between when I get back from home and when I get on a flight to London. I can obviously pack in that time, but I want to figure out outfits. That's what has to be thought out more. Everything else like makeup, toiletries, that's pretty easy. I can just like throw all that stuff in. But I want to do the outfits today, like before now and kind of set aside what I want to bring. I'm also going to be just bringing my carry on and my personal item, obviously. I have the Bay's mini weekender for my personal item. So that's like, it fits a lot of stuff. I'm only packing in my carry on there. And then I'm bringing a duffel bag with me so that on the way back, I'm sure that I'll like have picked up some souvenirs and things like that. They have tons of vintage shops, I'm so excited. I'm bringing a whole duffel bag for the things that I get there. So then on the way back, I can check my carry-on suitcase and bring the duffel bag as my carry-on. That's my plan. And then later tonight, I am meeting a YouTube friend, an internet friend for the first time for dinner in the West Village. I'm gonna go meet Katie Bilotti. So I got to basically get all of this stuff done before that. Let's go record the podcast. Since recording my second episode, I meant to turn the camera on while I was recording, but I completely forgot because I was just like in the groove. So both podcast episodes done, recorded. I'm about to go make some oatmeal for lunch. I just put my usual non-fat vanilla Greek yogurt on top. Here's my oatmeal. I'm gonna sit here, watch Keegan's new video. And then I think I'm gonna put my contacts in and get ready now so that I'm ready for later. I don't have to like rush or whatever to get ready for dinner. And also I can better envision my outfits for London when I try them on. Okay, I actually lied and I, I did not put my makeup on for this because it is, hot in here and I know that the second I start trying stuff on, I would just put my makeup off, so like what's the point? I don't know how to dress for the weather that it's gonna be. It's gonna be like 67. That's just the most confusing weather to dress for. Now I'm bringing this and this. This is coming to London. I'm planning on bringing literally just two pairs of shoes, my white sneakers and my black sneakers, like that's... I'm packing all of these clothes in a carry-on, so it's difficult because... I can't really pack anything thick or bulky. My airplane outfit, I'm gonna have to coordinate strategically so I can wear something bulkier then so I can just like carry it on me. Oh, I'm bringing this little shirt from White Fox I showed y'all earlier. I'm obsessed with the one with the sleeves, the flare sleeves, bringing that. I wanna try a couple things on. It's 
just one of those things that I really thought would slay. And it looks good on camera, but like the full body view is not eating the way I wanted it to eat. This is the worst part is when you have outfits in your head that you think will look good and then you put them on and you're like, okay. Like, something about it's just not right. But I look dumb, I feel like. Maybe it's the shoes. I love this sweater though. Ugh. I see cute shit on other people. And then I put it on myself and I'm like, the f Okay, now this isn't half bad, but like, y'all can't even see what I'm doing. It's just sort of ridiculous. I'm trying over here, you guys. It's not easy. Like, I don't think I have room to bring both shoes. I don't know, man. Okay, this isn't bad. It looks better with the white. Does it though, or am I gaslighting myself? Eh. This definitely looks better with these, but like, I don't know if this is the vibe. This is so much cuter. Oh, this is exactly what I was afraid of. Okay, yeah, this is so much cuter. F I have to have platform shoes is what I'm realizing about myself. I literally can't even get all of it in the frame. Like <laughs> My room is so small. God, see, this is cute. You know what I mean? Now we've got this. Yeah, it's the shoes. My strategy, I think, is going to be to bring one jean skirt, one pair of jean shorts, and one pair of long jeans and then tops that match everything. That's my goal. Oh, I need a white top. I'm just trying all the pants on with these same tops to make sure they all work in case I wanna switch it around. These shorts are more comfortable, I think, cause they're a little longer than the other ones I have. So I feel like these would be better. Yeah, like this is really cute. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with these shorts. I really don't pack any like statement pieces when I'm traveling, especially traveling light, I pack all basics that can be mixed and matched. Also, sorry if my fans are really loud, but I really hope this mic is miking. I literally only bring black, white, and variations of tan slash brown. That's it. I can just intermix all of them together. And one pair of black shoes, one pair of white shoes, I feel like that's really all I need. And I can do a lot with that. But I have to bring like layers. 67 degrees is so confusing because then the low is like 50. And that's like, that's cold. Do I bring a button down? I feel like you can always use a bunch. This this is where I start to get crazy because I'm like, well, I could bring this. This works with all my pants as well and my white shoes though. So that's like an easy thing to throw over if I want. I'm at the point where I genuinely cannot decide if I should bring a light jacket because if I bring a light jacket, I can only bring one, if even that. All my clothes are going on one side of a carry-on. So they all have to fit, obviously. So I'm between packing a light jacket or an extra sweater. I'm just gonna have to see what fits in my bag and go from there. My problem is I don't know how to dress in this weather. I'm so, I don't know. Like, is it gonna be too hot, is it gonna be too cold? I don't know. So I'm trying to kind of prepare for everything, but that makes it difficult when you're trying to pack light. I'm just gonna stop now. I packed, I think, most of my stuff for the beach clothing-wise. Everything else, like toiletries, I'm gonna pack like a small makeup bag and my electronics, I will probably just do tomorrow or like Sunday morning before we leave because I'm still using all those things. I've caught a wild Charlie. I've caught a wild kitty. Here she is, my big baby. Look at her little feet. <laughs> enough of me, enough of me, enough of me. I get to miss her so much. She's my best friend. Last time I had to say bye-byes to Charlie when I went on my last trip, I cried so hard. My eyes were swollen. Anyway, all right, I'm gonna can it on the packing for now. I need to get ready for my dinner date with Katie now. It's five. 11. I need to leave here at probably like 5.50 ish. I'm just gonna do some makeup, probably. I don't know what I'm gonna do with my hair. Probably just nothing, honestly. And I already picked my outfit out earlier. So that's hanging here. It is like thunderstorming though. So it's kind of gross out. I wasn't expecting that, but I picked my outfit out earlier so I would avoid the stress of picking it out at the last minute because that flusters me and makes me sweat. And then I usually happens after I've already done my makeup. So then I get even more flustered than my hair gets all wet because I'm sweating and I'm just like, I don't even want to go anymore. You know what I mean? So I already did that to prevent that. Now I'm just gonna put some makeup on and then I'll probably be ready. Just finished my makeup. I'm probably just gonna leave my hair like this. I always just clip my hair back, makes it a lot easier, but I think my makeup turned out really cute. Y'all, I have been wearing mascara like it's nobody's 
business lately. And if you know me, if you're a, a real one, as they say, that's what the people say, you would know that I hate mascara because it always comes off. But I found a mascara that doesn't. It's unbelievable. It's the YSL Lash Clash. Here's my little outfit. I was gonna wear little sandals with little heels, but it's still raining. It wasn't even supposed to rain today. It was not in the forecast, but now it's supposed to rain the rest of the night. So I just put some sneakers on. Whatever, I just wanna be comfortable. And I am. <laughs> Ignore all the clothes on my bed that I just pulled out for packing. We'll deal with that later. I'm gonna get an Uber, head over to the West Village. We're going to Bobo. I've never been there. I'm really excited. It looks really cute. Looked at the menu before, obviously. I'm probably getting pasta and an espresso martini because I can't, I'm never relaxed. I have to go into every restaurant setting knowing exactly what I'm gonna order. And I have. That concludes this week and also this video. Thank you so much for watching. Get ready for the London vlogs. I'm so excited. I hope you are too. Thank you again to White Fox for sponsoring this video. I love you guys so much and I will see you next time in London. Mm -hmm.